name is Flo and I run the Ramones Museum in Berlin. Punk rock. We're talking about the Ramones and we're in the beautiful city of Berlin. These flyers were pasted everywhere. They were wrapped around phone poles with, with packing tape. And so, yeah, everywhere I went, I saw these flyers. So it made me wonder, okay, what's up with this museum? So I went, I paid the 350 for the lifetime ticket, which is this, this is my lifetime ticket. It's a pin. Bought a beer and sat down with the owner Flo to talk about art, music, the power of the Ramones and, and what makes them so relevant. You could relate to what they sang about and what they wrote about and you know the way they looked and the way they talked. It was not phony, it was not something you would find on TV, you know, you would have to find it somewhere else. This idea of being authentic, being sincere with your art has come up over and over again from Brazil to Berlin to Korea to Prague, doesn't matter. Um, the idea, though, of, of doing your art based on who you are and your identity, that's what it's all about. And when you do that, it spreads to other people. And, and the crazy thing is, like the Ramones, you don't even have to be good at what you do. What the Ramones taught the world is that you can do it yourself, you know, the DIY ethics. And I think that goes beyond music. You see a shitty punk band, you go like, I can be in a shitty punk band and uh, have some sort of creative outlet and express themselves, whatever they do. When you express yourself and you don't care how you look, you don't care how people think about you, you don't care about how you're judged. When you just express yourself when it's authentic, that takes you to a, a different place. It's a higher plane, a different level. Oh, that would be way too arty for them to ask that question. They would be like, we don't know, you know. Um, yeah. They were not very intellectual. <laughs> yeah. um, but then again, maybe they were, you know, they just um, didn't want to talk about it. It speaks meaning to people, right? Even nihilistic punk rockers are so damn engaged with their music that they can hardly stand it. And you can knock on them and say, look, you know, you're having a transcendent religious experience and they'll just tell you to fuck off because that's... A <laughs> Middle finger to people's judgments, to conformity, to people's expectations. That's what that is. That's the power. That's the power of the art. I want to thank Flo for taking the time to sit down with me and have this discussion. I want to thank all of you for following me. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and, and help spread the word about what I'm doing. You could also follow me on Instagram and Facebook, artispower.org. And I'm going to leave you with these words, these last words from Flo. Artists are not driven by, you know, by money or you know, they don't do what they do for monetary reasons. I think they just want to get by and uh, create. And, um, and I think their major role or job is to inspire people to do the same and just to get by all that's shoved down your throat from media or, you know, fashion or all that stuff that you don't need, you know.